What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be taking a look at how to upgrade the firmware on your AimTrack light guns. So the first thing you want to do is go to the Altamark website, altamark.com, go over here and click on AimTrack, scroll down, and you want to click this first link right here, download AimTrack configuration utility. Once that downloads, you can actually click this little arrow here and do show and folder and that's going to take you to the directory where it downloaded it to and then you want to double click that exe file and click run. You can just head next on everything, the default options are okay. Finish and if you left everything as is, it should install to your C drive. So if you go over here to computer and you click on your C drive, program files x86 and there's your aim track folder double click that. You can see your aim track utility right here and you can see a firmware directory. If we go in there, the current one is 9.19. And the reason you wanna download the entire utility is because they now bundle the firmware with the utility. So if you have the latest utility, you're always gonna have the latest firmware. Okay, so what you wanna do is you wanna right click on the aimtrack.exe and you wanna do run as administrator. If you have a gun connected that has an older firmware, you're gonna get this prompt right here. It's basically telling you that you should upgrade the firmware, so you're gonna hit okay to that, because that is what we're doing. And before we go any further, just make sure that you only have one gun plugged in. If you have two guns, you wanna unplug one of them and leave only one gun plugged in. We're gonna do one gun at a time. Okay, so once you have that done, go to the setup tab up here click on firmware, upgrade firmware, and then click OK. A few moments later. Okay, great. Once this is up, you're gonna do select firmware file. And if it doesn't already take you into this utility, just make sure you go to the uh, path that we went to before, which is computer, the C drive, program files x86, aim track, and then your firmware folder. If you have a firmware somewhere else for whatever reason, you can just navigate to that directory, but we're gonna be doing it like this. So select that firmware file that was provided with the latest utility, hit open, and then just wait it out. See right there, it says downloading, and you should see a progress bar here. Just let it do its thing, and then we'll continue. Five minutes later. All right, so when the upgrade is done, you're gonna see this message down here that says no upgrade device detected or upgrade complete. That is okay, you wanna close out of this and you can go ahead and double click on your aimtrack.exe utility again. And you're gonna see that it comes up, there's no messages on the screen and the firmware now says 9.19. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that when you upgrade the firmware, your button assignments right here, they could be wiped out as you see here right now, there's nothing there. And your device ID is gonna reset back to device number one. So if you have previously set this gun up for a different device ID, for example, if this is your second gun, normally you'd have it as device number two, you're gonna wanna go ahead and go back through that whole setup process and set it back to ID number two, and also define your button assignments here and you know, do apply changes, and then your gun will be back to having the correct button assignments that you use and the correct device ID that you use. And now for gun number two, you wanna repeat this entire process. Just make sure to unplug the first gun and plug in the second gun, and then go through all the same steps one more time. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you guys on the next one.